Hello everyone, I'm Vikram P. Maduri here. Welcome to GHS of Tech Index. In this session, we'll have a quick review of the uh, of the entire outbound process and inbound process. I'm going to explain you with a flow diagram about what exactly is the process and the steps which are involved in the outbound and inbound process. If at all, if you feel that this is a uh, this is a pretty fast pretty fast you can uh, you can pause it and you can play it again and you can go back and re re uh, replay the previous topic okay let's quickly start with this now so we'll go ahead with the directly the flow flow flow, flow diagram basically before that the early architecture basically has an outbound process an inbound process and an exception handling. We'll basically do the exception handling with the workflow. I'm going to discuss that in another session. In this quick session, we'll discuss about the outbound process and inbound process with the help of a one flow, flow diagram. Here we have this outbound process. The outbound process starts with the triggering uh, triggering of uh, uh, the pro outbound program. Okay, so let's let's assume that we have a, a, a simple ABAP program which actually is executed either through a session uh, session or through direct direct execution from here you you when you execute the program the outbound pro, pro outbound program is uh, triggered and this basically uh, has an internal table within the program which actually is been filled with the uh, data which is coming up from the database tables the database tables are there in the application report repository they are, they are they are coming from the application repository to the internal table using the select statement and after that uh, after the data comes into the internal table from there the data goes into the uh, idoc so first a uh, master idoc is created a master idoc has uh, a, a, a more number of uh, records and more number of fields compared to what exactly is required for the receiving system so it uh, and it might be also raw data which which can later be customized according to the communication uh, i mean the requirement of the receiving system so first we are going to have the master idoc from the master idoc is then passed to the early service layer where we create a communication idoc so the step one is the triggering mechanism we need to know why exactly we are we are sending the idoc so what is the purpose of it and the second step is creation of the master idoc third step is the creation of communication idoc and the fourth step is sending the communication idoc to the receiving system so this happens to be the outbound process flow and we are going to dis discuss in detail about the what exactly is an uh, uh, outbound ALE program, what would be the logic that is written there and uh, we are going to discuss in detail step by step the entire program. So there will be two programs that get in that, that will be involved in the outbound process. One is the ALE, ALE uh, uh, IDOC generation program and next is the IDOC sending program. So these are the steps that we actually just now discussed. The next would be the inbound process. So from the uh, from the outbound process, that's a sending system. Any sending system is called the outbound process, right? So from there, if you are sending the data into the system, into the into the system, so here the data is received into the inbound process. Here in the inbound process, we actually get the communication ad hoc first. So we get the uh, communication ad hoc initially, and when we receive the communication ad hoc from there. The, that is passed to the early service layer and we create an application application ad hoc from the application ad hoc has been is been taken to the data will be taken from the application ad hoc into the internal table and that would be in turn passed into the application repository through a bdc or bapi program which actually enables us to update the data from internal table to the database tables so this would be the inbound process so inbound process would be having the step one of creation of the um, you know data transformation from communication ad hoc to application ad hoc and step two is you know the the execution of the inbound process and step three is uh, loading the data into the application repository 